Hi, my name is Henry Lee from BlueHeronArts.com. I'm doing a design for Philippa. I got uh, the design directly from her in Australia. Uh, she sent over the email, and you can see from the computer screen here. It's a signature seal design. Uh, she did this on a Nino kind of a Nino name, kind of rubber stain. But now she asked me to carve it on soapstone. It would be permanent. So uh, the first step, I'm going to make a copy uh, out of this computer printout using this traditional copy paper called a ten or rattan. Rattan fiber paper is very thin and uh, uh, transparent. You can see. I use uh, grind Chinese traditional ink. bamboo brush, traditional Chinese brush. I try to keep the original handwriting style so it's not perfectly symmetrical but balanced. The next thing I'm going to do is to prepare the stone surface by sanding it. The stone uh, comes with a layer of uh, wax, so we need to sand it off. Now the surface of the stone is uh, sanded, and uh, I will take the, print the copy uh, and wrap the stone. The design should be a little smaller than the stone size, so it gives you room for adjustment. Okay, now I'm using a piece of the dampened uh, rice paper, dampened rice paper to press to get moisture onto the rattan paper. This paper is absorbent yet very strong, so it will not falling apart. We need just a little bit moisture, not too much. If it's not, uh, if it's too much water, you can use the uh, dry rice paper to blot it. Now I use a pebble stone to rub it uh, uh, lightly to so make sure it uh, transfer. Okay. Now I lift the paper and you will leave a trace on the stone.
and you can use a marker pen to enhance it if you like or you just use the uh, brush and the ink Now I'm going to carve. I'll start from the margin, so it will give me some uh, uh, filling on of the stone. It's a Qingtian stone. It's a relatively soft kind of a uh, soapstone. It's good for beginner to practice, also for advanced artist to use. It gives you very uh, fine texture, so you can um, get the design exactly as you want. Um, and also you can create the kind of uh, antique look if you need it. It's very difficult to do the curve. You need to turn the stone and the, the knife simultaneously. It's very challenging to do the curve on the circle. So not necessarily easy for a simple design. It's more challenging sometimes. You have to turn the stone and the, the knife simultaneously in coordination. And then carve out the center, uh, the empty space. So this is a positive style. You carve out all the background. If you want the coarse side uh, with the margin, you, you just carve uh, with the knife facing the line, the line, so it will become more natural, kind of. You can cut instead of pushing.
Now I'm ready to make a first stamp, a uh, uh, test. We can also use the tin or resin paper to make so you can see uh, exact or exactly the effect. This is how uh, we check the, you know, we we see through the ten or uh, the uh, very thin paper to see exactly what uh, the stamp look like. So you can make uh, changes accordingly. So I'm going to take, um, make this uh, margin a little thinner, so to uh, to be more even. Um, so remember, it's a reverse image. So I look at uh, the reverse copy to make sure I'm working on the right side. Now it's um, more even. Actually, every print could vary a little bit depending on the the pressure, the padding, and uh, uh, the material, the paper. Also, the ink is very important to make a perfect uh, stand. You need all these uh, elements to work uh, correctly. And after you use you need to clean the residual ink before you store it. You can just uh, uh, wrap it, uh, clean it with uh, a paper towel or tissue. Thank uh, Philippa for commissioning me to do her lamp chop design. And uh, if anybody like to show me um, your design, you can send to my email um, from my website, blueheronarts.com. You can register as a member and you'll get my personal email and send your design to me. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.